as this linebacker just comes straight over the top. We could go. Woo! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back Come on. on the street. The fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys today, another defensive gameplay where I'm going to show you guys a defense that I've been using that I've been just straight up locking people down with. I already put out at least one gameplay where I was making people quit left and right, I'll put a link in the description for that. Because this is a super frustrating defense to play against, although my opponent today is going to make it all the way to the end, he is going to fight me tooth and nail. I have a very good opponent today, this guy plays about as good a defense as I've played in a while, it definitely stood out in my memory and on the defensive side for myself i'm going to run a couple of different defenses and at the end of the video i will show you guys which one was most effective because that's the point of this video i'm going to prove to you guys that this particular defense i'm going to show you today is one of the most effective defenses in the game uh if you run it right so on this particular gameplay though i will be starting off on the offensive side i do start off with the ball and the first offense that i'm going to run i'm still in the tampa bay buccaneers playbook i love it put out a lot of uh information and gameplay with the offense i'm going to use today out of the gun split close so i will have links in the description for all the offenses and all the defenses that i use today starting off this gameplay though i have no idea what he's in so i, I quickly switch it to the fullback inside this guy's run defense especially is going to give me trouble all day but at least on the very first run i have success as i don't know maybe this fake motion kind of drew him away uh but i could have had even more i mean there was a huge lane there that guy just grabbed me at the very last second so since he's going to be running a lot of cover three i'm going to be spending a lot of time in the gun split close working on my cover three one play touchdown because I do have a lot. The first one typically I go with is the Z spot. On this first play, I mean, it looks like he's running a pretty similar defensive concept to what I'm running. I mean, it looks like he's sending a lot of blitzers. He's using the strong or the free safety, which is something that I'm going to do quite a bit. It leaves the center of the field wide open. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> what? I don't know how that wasn't a touchdown. I really thought he should have caught that. Oh, oh, you Still in that cover three, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to change it up, go to a different cover three, won't play touchdown. But since it is third and five, I mean, I do have to make sure to get the first down, so I just take the flats. Burk That's going to be there all the time. So we get the first down, we turn over the sticks, then we're going to go to the PAF slide. All I'm going to do is streak this X route here, and that's typically all I need to make a very big play. But once again, like I said, I just don't trust it. I take this shorter route here, uh, which that was even a tight throw. I mean, even when I complete passes against this guy's defense, a lot of times they are tight window throws. You can see right here, he's in a cover two man. This entire defense he's running here is one of the tougher defenses that I've faced in a while. So I was kind of expecting a cover two man once again. So we picked the wide receiver corner. Then when I come to the line, he immediately makes an adjustment that lets me know it's probably a cover three when he motions this safety straight down to the box. Get locked. So I know right off the bat, the cover three setup is going to work. I motion out this B route, put him on a smart route, and this A route here just gets going right up the same. Break yourself, fool! And we have an easy touchdown to take the score. But even that was a tight throw. Even that, the coverage was right there. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with that defense I was telling you guys about, the Will Fire 3 seam. This is the defense. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of rage quits with this. This guy's not going to quit, but it's, I'm going to have a lot of effective plays against him. There's a couple different ways to run this. I'm going to show you guys a new way to run this. This is the old way to run this. All I'm doing, I don't have to make any adjustments other than blitz all the linebackers. And then I really have my choice of who I use. Now, if you run it like this, it's almost like an engage 8. You can see I have pretty much everybody coming i typically have under pressure on these outside uh linebackers that typically get the most pressure and you can see right there that under pressure might have had a, an effect on that throw nope down the next play i mean he gets one of his few completions against it he does not complete a lot of passes against this defense and i'm going to run this defense pretty much this entire game so unless i say otherwise i am in this will fire three scene play on the next play this play is going to pay off big time as this linebacker just comes straight over the top we can go Woo! pick it up pick it up pick it up the sack, the scoop, and the scores. 
and this play just basically put us up 14 nothing. So you can see, I mean, we really didn't give up much, and we've already scored a touchdown using this, which is really what it's all about. Pressure, pressure, pressure. On the next play, I notice he he knows I'm in a cover three, so he starts trying to beat me with these out routes. It doesn't work on that first play. There's something that I noticed about running your defense like this. Typically, when these zones, these deep blues are all alone, they typically react like man coverages, which if you watch, since the fact that I only have three out here, they're basically all going to turn to man coverages to the receivers right in front of them. I just have to take away the middle here, and they can see once again, we're getting super tight coverage on that out route. Out routes should beat cover three, but they definitely aren't here. So on the next play, though, third and 10, I try to jump the running back. This can be one of the downsides of sending so much pressure, and he beats me with just a simple drag and he's almost taking it to the house as i don't give up on the play i make a last second shoestring tackle and he just basically put 70 yards up on me now that he's in the red zone though i'm going to go with my red zone defense i'm going to switch it up to the four three normal cover four quarters People typically turn into runners, and this is a very good uh, run defense, especially when it comes to outside runs. Nope. He gets nothing, loses a yard. Then on the next play, it looks like he's going to try that again, just in the opposite direction. Nope. Really good run defense, especially when it comes to outside runs. We just shut that down. So we get the third and goal. We're still in that cover four quarters one more time, and on the next play, everything's pretty much locked up. So this is probably a better uh, defense when it comes to the red zone, as he's forced to take three. Uh, and then we're back on the offensive side. Hitting him with that screen play one more time, like I said, I'm super comfortable running that uh, unlike any other screenplay when it comes to the run plays like I said this guy plays really good defense he's gonna shut down my run this entire game as you can see right there I get nothing on third and two I try to run it I thought maybe I'd fall forward but no we get fourth and inches on fourth and inches I was nervous going for this and I almost didn't get it that was a close one but he's having a lot of success this 335 odd I don't know what he's doing with it, but he's having some real shutdown effects, especially when it comes to uh, the run plays. You can see right there, my screenplay doesn't really get anywhere. Then on third and seven, I mean, I'm just making stuff happen. I try to roll out, see that running back last second, and I just take the check down. I mean, nothing's really working deep down the field like I'm trying. I'm trying for my cover through one play touchdowns, but his coverage is playing super tight. Then on the next play, nothing's really open here. I mean, I pretty much, you know, I was thinking about taking that B route, but nope. everything was pretty much covered. And that play, typically nothing's covered. This next play, though, this works out really well. So I just put this X route here on a flat i love this play it's such a sneaky play to steal some yards if i had a little bit more speed i might have been going there i don't know how the linebacker caught me what? i see he's still running a lot of cover three so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna hit him with a really easy cover three concept post patch i'm just gonna pick the z spot all I'm going to do is streak this receiver here. When it comes to cover threes, all you need to do is have a streak in the area, and this outside quarterback is pretty much going to follow it. I make a little bit of a fake motion here just so the, my opponent would try to pay more attention to that. Then I put the running back on a comeback, which I did earlier in the drive, and he takes the bait Fight! as he leaves this receiver wide open in the corner of the end zone, and that was an absolute dot on the run super tight window like i said every every pass i complete feels like it's a tight window throw on the defensive side we're going right back to this defense this is the adjustment that i was telling you guys about you can basically use this linebacker right here and it will not affect the blitz at all my opponent right here he's going to have the same amount of blockers as i have guys rushing the quarterback and this guy's just going to come in right around the running oh, we back can go get an instant sack in the second half i don't know why i got smart i figured i'm up 21 to 3 i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna switch it up and run a little bit more of a prevent defense so i go with the cover three cloud show too this was a huge mistake i should have just stuck with the play that i was using because i was having a lot of success he didn't appear to have any answers for it uh but for whatever reason i just didn't want to give up any you know quick plays any big plays and that's exactly what happens i run a prevent defense and you know what they say about prevent defense is you prevent yourself from winning very first play goes right down the field on me down the next play I mean, I thought about switching it up, going back to that defense. Instead, I go with the cover four quarters blitz, which I still think is one of the better uh, defenses in the game. I love this blitz. He hasn't seen it yet, but maybe he knows it. This is a pretty well-known blitz now based off the fact that when I put this out, I mean, a lot of people uh, started running it. So maybe he knows this just based off of the setup. And on the very next play, I mean, he just beats me right over the top. Damn it! And he's scoring a touchdown on two plays. He goes right down the field, 75 yards. As soon as I stop using that defense. On the offensive side, I decide to you know i'm trying to run some run plays but it's not working so i try to you know change it up a little bit i mean this defense that the guy's running is just completely shutting me down no nope. gets me to a third and seven i come out in what's one of my favorite cover two man plays uh and once again i mean there's just nothing really open here as i just roll to the right and take the sack so i mean i don't want to throw an interception to give the game away at that point i mean and let him right back into it and go right back to that defense we've had a ton of success with this defense watch out watch out watch out watch out, watch out, watch out. I see we get an instant sack. Running back just watching it happen once again. Eventually he figures out how to make an adjustment to, to shut this blitz down. But at this point in time, we can go. Woo! 
it's still having a lot of success as it runs right around the running back again for an instant sack this defense like i said it's tough man it's a tough defense to crack we go right back to that other blitz though the the cover four quarters blitz on fourth and nine maybe that wasn't the best decision but like i said i do love this blitz and i wanted to have a little bit more success on the very next play though it does work out enough gotcha, bitch. that we're coming back with an interception uh which was essentially a punt i mean it was fourth and nine the guy just had to throw it up no the short stuff was there so we're getting the ball back we got to run a four minute offense we got to kill some clock we're up 11 starting to hit him with a couple more screen plays i mean if i had a running back at that spot maybe i'd get more but it's not really working out and then like i said the run plays are just not there this guy's run defense out of this defense is ridiculous i don't know what he's doing in this particular uh you know 335 odd but he's having a ton of success then on third and five we try to hit him with that little flat once again but it's just not there nope we hold it for that tight window throw again as we dot it right over his user and right outside of the coverage i mean we're just you know living on a prayer here. that is definitely a thin thin margin of error then we, you know we're still trying to run the ball it's not really working out so he forces us to pass shuts down both routes on this side Dude. and that play wasn't working all game it wasn't open all day but i forced it and i probably should have just ate it and kicked another field goal so now he's got a ball back still plenty of time he's only down 11 uh with three minutes and 33 seconds left in the fourth and we're going right back to that cover three plays you can see once again <laughs> knocking the ball down next play once again we're covering two guys the coverage was tight but he catches it that time for the most part he hasn't caught that ball all day then on you know he, he's you can see he's doing a lot of uh, protection stuff as he's now the quarterback's moving a lot uh as the this slide protection must be working as he beats me right over the middle for an easy 15-yard uh, play. So it looks like he's got something figured out for this defense. Then on the next play, running back picks up the uh, the blitzer, which hasn't happened a lot either. Uh, and he's moving, man. He's right in field goal range. So it's taking a long time, though. I mean, he's not doing this quick enough that he's really threatening to come back. And then you can see this outside route. It really should be getting open, but that cornerback is locking it pretty much every time as he goes for an incompletion twice in a row, back-to-back uh, -back plays. Then on third and 10, he's going for it again because, like I said, that play should be there. It's just not, like I said, these guys turn into man coverage corners, and they're having a lot of success. As Ladarius Sneed might be the best cornerback in the game, in my opinion. On the offensive side, run plays. I'm still trying to run clock. It's not working. He's forcing me to pass. I really don't want to do that because, obviously, I'm, I don't want to throw interceptions. You can see how quickly these guys are jumping on balls. That flat route, he was there instantly. On third and 11, we got to come up with something. Uh, we, we make a fake adjustment. We're going to hit him with this uh, screenplay one more time. Make a little fake motion, hoping he chases that. And the play's there. Ooh, nothing's working for me right now <laughs> as my guy just trips over his, his own blocker. So we got to punt the ball away. He He's only down a score now with a minute 18 left at least i made him use all of his timeouts uh, but you know we're coming out cover too we're gonna this is essentially like a prevent defense and what i say earlier in the game when you when you run prevent you prevent yourself from winning as you can see a simple slant simple crossers are getting the job done now even though i'm you know i'm trying i'm trying to put these guys outside uh on these uh purple flats on these curl flats I'm, i even set it to 20 25 and i mean it's the exact same thing he's just hitting me with the slant there i mean at least he was hit i don't know maybe he should have dropped it but he's already in field goal range which i'm not too worried about obviously i mean i need to stop him from scoring a touchdown we're tired of messing around we're going right back to that cover three he showed no ability to beat this consistently so we're going to live and die with it and then with 36 seconds left i mean the user's all there once again we get another incompletion he's just throwing it up the same and it's just getting knocked out all over the place we're not running anything else for the rest of this game third and ten you can see he's dreading this defense he's making a lot of adjustments he's making a lot of line calls he's going right back to this outside route and boom we're knocking it out once again like i said tight coverage all over the place but these guys are all over it then on the last play of the game he tries to beat me with just an easy slam and we're knocking it out once again jerry rice putting the ball on the turf definite respect to him uh gg for him because you know a lot of people would have quit uh down 21 3 which like i said i put out a gameplay of a lot of people doing that quitting against this defense but he stuck it out and made a game a quick stats comparison uh he was four for six against all my defenses not including the cover three defense he went four for six for 120 yards and an interception averaging 20 yards per attempt against the cover three defense he went six for 18 he only completed six passes for uh, 131 yards four sacks a fumble which, which i obviously scored a touchdown off of and uh, he scored two field goals he averaged 7.2 yards an attempt compared to 20 against all my other defenses so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more gameplays like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.